I'm Janelle Riley, and you're watching Behind the Scenes. I have with me today our first return guest, Henry S. Dittman Esquire. S. Dittman? I'm just making it up. <laughs> it's Henry M. Dittman. <laughs> it's going to be a different initial every week. Oh, I like that. On. Yeah, and then you can determine what it stands for. Henry and I, as you may or may not know, believe that you don't have to see a movie in order to review it. So we're going to take a look at uh, some movies opening this weekend. Um, first up is The Green Zone. This ah! is <laughs> Finally, a new sequel to the Bourne uh, trilogy. Well, actually, it is directed by Paul Greengrass, mm -hmm. who directed the two good Bourne movies, awesome. and stars Matt Damon, and it looks just like a Bourne movie, yet, oddly, it's not. You're in the 85th, that's WMD unit, right? How'd you know that? It's right there on your rifle. It is really obviously super formulaic, and it's one of those where from watching the trailer, I feel like, oh, I know exactly what parts of the movie I'm gonna love, and I know exactly what parts of the movie I can go buy more popcorn and use the toilet. The trailer is so cliche. Oh, we lost him in deep cover. Oh, they discovered who it was. Oh, I'm getting a, a I'm getting a phone call at dinner inside the restaurant, and no one can know that I'm getting busted on the phone. Like it's so obvious, and yet I will see it on opening weekend. Why do you think Dad doesn't want to spend time with me? She knows I'll take care of her. That's all there is, Tyler. That's all there is. Not enough. Well, if you don't want to see a good movie this weekend, you can check out Remember Me which is Robert Pattinson's attempt at being a leading man outside of the Twilight series. Uh, I love that this trailer opens with him reading a quote by Gandhi, and it proceeds with showing how edgy he is, because he puts his cigarette out and like a fancy, fancy bowl. bowl. <laughs> yeah, that'll show those people who don't like smoking. <laughs> Stick it to the man. Those healthy Robert assholes. Robert Pattinson. It's possible that at some point, the author or the director or someone else said, Okay, yeah, fine. We'll all get rich by putting Robert Pattinson in the movie. It's okay. Let's just do it and get rich. I think his presence in the movie is what somewhat confuses what the trailer is about. Next up, also opening this weekend, we have Our Family Wedding. We're getting married. <coughs> what? What? Yep. This is one of those mismatched, wacky Carlos Mencia and Forrest Whitaker play parents of an interracial couple getting married. I felt like I spent the entire time watching the trailer with my headphones on saying, oh no she didn't, <laughs> oh no he didn't, oh no she didn't, oh no he didn't. I felt like I spent the whole trailer saying that and the only person it's a step up for is Carlos Mencia <laughs> who finally can maybe start fixing his public image at least around town as a guy who steals jokes. Uh, and this is apparently a movie for people who find Mind of Mencia too highbrow. <laughs> That's rough. Opening next week on the 19th we have Repo Men which at first I thought was a remake of the Emilio Estevez film. I hoped it was. <laughs> this is Jude Law and Forrest Whitaker repossessing body parts. Sorry, that's not my department. It is going to be awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. I couldn't tell if you were gonna say awful. Here or we are awesome. again. Here we are again. I know that I knew we were gonna disagree about this movie. Oh no, I wanna see oh, it. Oh, you wanna see it? Yeah. I think it's gonna be great. It does look great despite the presence of Liev Schreiber. He's the most generic casting choice you can come up with. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so to recap, Green Zone, we'll both see. Yes. For very different reasons. Yes. Remember me. I've already forgotten what that movie is about. <laughs> Neither of us are interested in that. Uh, also, our family wedding. It's not quite for me. But we are both excited about Repo Man. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Get some, Jude Law. Get some. We're actually going to be back next week with more reviews because so many movies are opening in March, which is very strange. So please join us then. Uh, until then, I'm Janelle Riley. My guest has been Henry X. Dittman. Uh, and you've been watching <laughs> Behind the Scenes. And I just want to say, if you notice that we're wearing the same clothes and look exactly the same two weeks from now, it's a coincidence. <laughs>